It was really incredible to actually be witness to you know, the students riding on the horse today. There were three out of four that had never been on a horse. Racing Hearts is going into its fourth year in operation. We started off as a retraining centre um, with some retired racehorses. So we have the equine assisted therapy side where we see people in our community with mental health challenges and instead of seeing them in a room based situation our team of psychologists and social workers and counsellors see them on the farm working with our retired racehorses. We retrain retired racehorses that are capable of going off and doing those athletic sports like show jumping, dressage and eventing. So at Racing Hearts we offer a number of programmes. We also see primary schools, our primary schools programme which is what we had on today. The school handpicks those children based on whether they may have learning disabilities or they may um, suffer from anxiety, um, some come from trauma backgrounds, all have very similar challenges in how they present themselves. We also offer a Certificate 2 in Racing VCAL programme for secondary schools. Students that come on that programme are again students that may have lost their way a little bit, um, they don't really know what they want to do with their lives, they're disengaged from school, disengaged from community and families, they're just generally a little bit lost. So we engage them in a certificate too in racing, but they're also locked into a 12 month mental health program with us too. So not only does it give them the skills to go away and uh, get a job working with horses, but we hope that we're able to help them stay in employment and foster healthier relationships with employers and within their community in general. We might have to put this one up. Oh, looks like you found one that fit. They're here for an eight week program usually one hour a week. They learn about themselves as well as the horses and exploring different topics like boundaries and feelings as well as noticing their li own life challenges and they learn a lot about noticing their own bodies and what that information is giving them. Good girl! And how does that feel? A bit better? A bit better? Yeah? You're doing awesome! They learn that through the horses being a, a model for, um, for feedback and but also as a model for healthy living and living in the moment and they just committed to it you know to the whole experience and just witnessing their bravery throughout that experience was was pretty incredible and so to see them getting on the horse for the first time and seeing their uh, related emotions and feelings and watching them express and they can't wait to do it again um, it feels like i feel free with them i can actually get close and not be, not be worried at all. Ah, oh, good job. Oh, nice out breath. Gotta say, Toby, very chill. He doesn't, he doesn't, doesn't mind me at all around him. Asking me first thing in the morning, have we got racing hearts today? And all excited about coming. It just gives them a little bit of confidence that they need. Um, it helps with regulating, they learn to breathe like the horses with regulating their breathing. They do a lot of group work at school so uh, a lot of the kids will have trouble talking in a group so this encourages them to um, talk in a group as well. So looking at them right now, looking at them grazing and how do you feel with that? So all the horses that we have involved in our therapy programs are retired racehorses and we find that retired racehorses are absolutely perfect for this kind of work. In their racing careers, racehorses and thoroughbreds will have seen a lot that other breeds won't have been exposed to. They travel on floats, they travel all around the country, they're handled from the time they're born, um, you know, they, they go to race courses and they just see and hear a lot more than other breeds would be exposed to. So that really helps them when they're working with our students or working with our clients. 